I ran across information on this bug just today, and I thought it was so important I wanted to get it out immediately to everyone to take a look at. Uh, the bug revolves around a Texas Instrument chip that's used for USB audio conversion. And the units that are listed here, the ICOM 7100, 7200, the Kenwood 590, and all the signal link boxes are pretty much affected by this chip. If you're using any of these devices with Windows, Vista, or newer computers, you're likely to encounter this bug. And so how we're going to address this is this is the video you need to watch. <clears throat> it's called Huge Bug Fix for Amateur Radio Digital Modes by John Sands. It's really outstanding. Uh, below it, if you go to the information below it, you can uh, link, uh, click on the link here uh, for the actual written discussion uh, on the problem. And uh, this is really just kind of is written form, uh, covers the whole problem and how to go about fixing it. But again, uh, the main thing we're interested in uh, as Winmore users probably will be the signal link box. That's what the majority of folks use uh, for inexpensive uh, digital audio conversion. And it goes through and sh tells you about the bug and how to go about fixing it and some other information. There's also a link here for the video. Too. Uh, but let's go back to the video link. Uh, how do you get to this video? If you'll come down here and you see this uh, uh, link that I've got highlighted here, this is the short link to this video on YouTube. So if you'll just type this link into your computer web browser, it will take to you to this YouTube video. And what you need to do is, again, just type in this information in this link that I've got highlighted in blue here and it'll take you to John's outstanding video. And what you need to do is watch this whole video and it'll give you an excellent explanation of what's happening and how to both uh, confirm that you have the bug and also uh, to uh, fix it. And I'm going to show you very quickly how to go about fixing it. Uh, so what you would do is come down and go to your recorder uh, devices input uh, on your audio and this is the window that you're all familiar with and in this case you can see my signal link is hooked up and I have a Kenwood TS2000 and I have actually have the audio cranked up uh, on the uh, 50C menu item all the way up to 9 and you can see uh, at this point that I'm overdriving the signal here uh, but this is going to show you the how to see the bug so I'm going to uh, right click on this or just hit properties and go to the properties menu you and I'm going to come over to the level you want to make sure the level is set all the way up to 30 plus uh, Windows will normally reset it here anyway whether you want it to or not uh, but just confirm that it's this level come over to the advanced tab and you can see where it's normally set uh, it will normally be set on your radio probably uh, to one channel 16 bit and 4100 uh, one of the things John explains in the video is you normally want to run 4800 uh, uh, just a little bit better quality. It does a better job of decoding digital signals. But the fix for that is, is we're going to change to the two-channel 16-bit 4800 kilohertz, or 4800 hertz uh, uh, item. So I'm going to move this over here so we can see this change on the audio. So watch this level here as I make this change and I'm gonna select it here and then hit the apply button down here and there you go there's the bug see when I made that change it dropped uh, the boost that Windows is automatically putting in there uh, back down uh, so I could just click OK and now when I open up my device this will be the level that I want to see now how you can confirm that it's going is if you don't have any audio devices that are, are using audio at the moment it. You can just come up to the sounds tab and click on sounds and go back to recording and you can see the bugs back. Every time you make any little change uh, it will make that change again. Uh, so again we're going to highlight that, go to properties and it doesn't really matter at this point. We can come over here. Level is going to always stay the same because it's always going to boost it up to 30 and we want to run it as high as possible anyway. And and uh, again, I've got it at 30s. If you right click on this, you can change it from the percentage. You're used to probably seeing the 100 here, uh, but I've right clicked on it, put it in decibels, 
Uh, either one's fine. main thing is to have it all the way to the right. Uh, again, I'm going to go to the Advanced tab, and this time I'm going to go from 2-channel 16-bit 48 back down to 1-channel 16-bit 48. Okay, so I've selected that. Uh, watch the audio level on the signal link as I hit Apply. I'm hitting Apply, and there it is. See, that confirms that it's there. Uh, so that's basically the glitch. If you will open up an audio device at this point, uh, your Winmore interface or anything, uh, it will maintain that. A good idea is just to move uh, this window and leave it open. Uh, again, I'm using this rec microphone here recording to record what I'm doing now. Normally, the signal link would be set to the default. It would normally be set to the signal link. Uh, but just so you could see that, uh, I uh, have got it set up this way. Uh, but normally, the signal link will be here, and it will be set as the default as your recording uh, device. And and that's the way you want it to look. So that's the bug, and that's how it shows up, and that's how you can confirm that you see it. Uh, so take some time and watch this video. If you're using a signal link or any of these other devices, uh, and more than likely uh, anything above a Windows XP, uh, more than likely you have the bug. And what it's doing is it's clipping the top of the signals. Um, and even if you adjust the audio down, uh, uh, it's still going to continue to do that clipping. And all of that will be clear when you watch uh, John's video. Uh, so watch that video and be aware of that. And that way uh, you'll have a much better sensitivity on digital modes. And uh, I think this is just a terrific uh, video, please. Uh, uh, John's requesting information uh, on configurations. Please put that on his uh, video site uh, when you see it uh, to help him out. Uh, so be aware of that and that that's a bug that's out there and it affects everybody, especially if you're using a signal link. And this is a way of getting uh, a better signal uh, into your system. For more information on WinLink, please go to the main website at winlink.org. You can get everything there from current WinLink news to all the details of WinLink in the Book of Knowledge. If you want to learn how to install, configure, and operate RMS Express, please go to my YouTube channel by searching for K4REF and watch my complete WinLink RMS Express training series that covers all the details of how to get started. So that's it for this update, 73 from K4REF.